some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Annapolis Otto as he attempts to regain some of his street cred after his unfortunate incident at the polling station the other day. But unfortunately for him, he can't get any satisfaction. Well, that's what happens when you push people around. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we are up here at the Annapolis City Police Department right now to drop off the video footage of the assault yesterday at the Pitt Moyer Recreational Center. Oh, Taco Boy here picked the wrong person on the wrong day to badger and ended up paying the price. I'm going to put the link in the description just in case any of you missed it or at the very least want to watch it again. I'll give you guys a little video look at myself in a second. I have three staples in my head. My knee and elbow are fucking banged up. I got bruises everywhere. There's assholes took four of them to tackle me. But tyranny and oppression never stops and neither do I. Oh, you think the United States is tyrannous? You think we're so oppressed here in the United States? Let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of North Korea? Probably the most oppressive country in the world. You Maybe you should go visit Kim Jong-un. I'm sure you could learn something from his brand of tyranny. If you ever make it back at all. People told me to stop going out and shooting videos for a while and be safe. Da 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 da. But... It's not about my safety, it's about getting the, it's about getting the results. It's what we do. How you doing? I'm here to drop off some evidence to Officer Fowl. Hi. How you doing? Hi. I'm here to drop off some evidence to Officer Fowl. Officer Fowl? Fowl, P-F-A-U. He's not working today. Okay, can I drop it off the superior then, please? Yes. Gotcha. Give me one second. Okay. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. I'll go out to my car and grab the piece of paper so I have the case number. Oh. Five minutes later. As I said, people told me I shouldn't mm -hmm. audit for a while, this, that, and the third, like, da 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 da. It's not worth a couple of dollars for this, or that. And I'm like, dog, it's not worth the money at all. Like, I don't do this for the money. It's not about money. It's about the principle. It's about fair treatment, equal treatment for everybody. It's about doing the right thing. Oh, it's about fairness. It's about equal treatment. It's about doing the right thing. Well, let me tell you something, boy. You didn't do any of the right things when you engaged that man in that sort of conduct, boy. And ended up with three staples in your head as a result of your misconduct, boy. It's never been about money. I don't care if these beat me up. I don't care what they do. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to be out here every single... That's weird. I'm going to be out here every single day. Sergeant Juan is going to come and, and talk to you. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. 11 minutes later. All righty, squad. What's going on out there? How's everybody doing? Another beautiful day here in Annapolis, Maryland. It is the 9th of November. It's about 3 o'clock p.m. And we are shooting our first video on the new GoPro. Some of you may have just seen the post I made about it arriving. So I wanted to come out and test it out. See how it works. Get it going. This is the new GoPro 11. I do not have the Max Lens mod on there yet. I wanted to get out and get up here before it hit 3 o'clock. So, uh, I didn't want to sit and fiddle with everything else. But, yeah. Again, appreciate every single one of y'all that donated. Appreciate my buddy Web Jockey, almost said his real name, for donating a large lump sum to help me get this new camera because the last one was broken. 
Oh, what a hypocrite you are. You talk about it not being in about the money, and yet here you are talking about how grateful you are for the donations and getting this nice GoPro out of it. Oh, aren't you a classy guy? I am still without my chest camera, uh, but that will come in due time. I am greatly appreciative of the community accepting me in and also donating to help me get a new camera. Many, many minutes later. But yeah, so they won't call and ask me any questions or ask me for any information or anything, but they'll go up there looking for any possible loophole to be like, oh. Haha, ha, we'll get him in trouble for this. Haha, ha, he did this or he didn't do that. But as y'all know, how you doing? As y'all know, I do my research. I dot my T's. <laughs> I dot my I's and I cross my T's. And I make sure that I am usually as educated as I can be on the situations I'm putting myself into. Oh, so you fancy yourself an autodidact, huh? Well, you seem to have failed at that miserably, because your self-education seems to have not gotten you anywhere except for rejected by your family and in trouble with the law. There are certain times where the situation may take a left turn, and I may not have studied for this exact scenario. That's kind of how I do it. When I sit at home, I, I think, okay, if I'm going into this place or doing this, what is a scenario that I'm going to get into? What is a possible thing that the police are going to say as like a reason why I can or can't be there? And that's kind of how I look up the statutes and the laws and the different uh, like criminal codes, either granting me or uh, rescinding permission to do whatever it is I want to do at these properties. So yeah, I don't uh, I don't just sit at home and like study the entire law dictionary and just like memorize everything. I evaluate possible scenarios of situations that I'm going to be putting myself into and I will educate myself properly. Well, perhaps you should stop being such an autodidact because yourself Education has failed miserably. So go out and get yourself a real job. So that if one of those scenarios presents itself, um, I can enact. So I called the number listed, which is to voice my opinion and to petition my grievance against Mr. Michael May for not filing or prosecuting those charges on Robert Jones Jr. And then I even went one step further as to contact the Maryland Attorney's Grievance Board or Grievance Commission and file a complaint on Mr. Michael May over there as well. Oh, you hit a brick wall when it comes to filing criminal complaints? Well, maybe you should file a civil complaint. But that's going to cost you a lot of money. And it probably won't go anywhere. So, again, these are just steps that I took. These are just things that I did. I'm not saying anybody has to do that for themselves. These were just the steps that I took. So... Till next time, squad. Be safe out there. Take it easy. Peace out. I wonder how many staples you're going to get before you figure out that this frauding game is not really worth it. But given how stupid he is, I don't think he'll ever be able to figure it out.